Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Nixon Nyakampi. Uh, I'm a medical student, and uh, I also develop uh, mobile and web applications for better health in our country. So I want to talk about crisis informatics, uh, which, as we know, is uh, it examines how ICTs can be used to prepare for uh, and respond to emergency situations. So it's things like what role does social networks do and digital technologies can do. So if we talk about microblogging, we can say that microblogs allow uh, users to exchange small elements of content such as short sentences and individual images of video links. Now, this uh, short nature of uh, updates allow users to post new items quickly and they get to people in instantly. Uh, so if we go to uh, collective intelligence, uh, this is where uh, mass collaboration comes in. We need to mobilize communities on uh, openness, peering, and sharing of information, and acting globally. So look at uh, digital convergence, which uncovers the complex uh, information ec ecosystem by uh, matching, uh, say, like a mobile phone, which integrates the internet, uh, the camera, and so many features together. And uh, if we talk about emergency medicine, this is whereby we've uh, had situations whereby uh, many people are getting out to solve uh, problems in emergency situations, but they end up causing more problems because these people are not organized. And so we have many policy issues which are facing the use of social networks information during uh, times of crisis. And I want to tell you a story about Twitter. Uh, it has about 550 million users as of July, and we have like uh, 58 million tweets per day. So highlights of Twitter uh, include like uh, Boston Marathon bo bombing. Uh, Twitter really played uh, an important role in informing people. In the recent Westgate uh, mall attack in Nairobi, uh, if you analyze the uh, characteristics of the tweets that uh, were coming, most people were asking about uh, uh, the, during the, the initial uh, minutes, people were asking about the situation in uh, Westgate. And so, as you can see those tweets there, uh, the first tweet was that person, uh, I come from Somalia, and uh, uh, the first uh, media agency in Kenya to tweet about the incident was K24, and that's what uh, they talk, talked about. Uh, if we move to the next one, uh, this was the second uh, media agency in Kenya that followed a minute later. Uh, AP was the uh, first international uh, media agency to break the news, uh, whereby, that's what they said, breaking uh, news where witnesses say gunmen have uh, opened fire in, inside the Nairobi uh, most upscale uh, mall. So, uh, Disaster Operation Center Kenya was the first governmental agency to talk about the, the tweet. And you can, say, uh, you can see the hashtag there, it's KOT, Kenyans on Twitter. Uh, that was the first uh, media. So how can we use social media in emergency management uh, response? So in leveraging such uh, solutions using uh, social media, we need to have uh, systems that reach a wider audience. Now, social media can't replace everything, but it's a great tool actually to have in the toolbox. Look at San Francisco Emergency Management Agency that has presence over in Facebook, Twitter, and even YouTube. Uh, we also need to, uh, s uh, our organizations also need to send and receive emergency alerts. Social media can help first responders of social and or social security officers capture panic or emergency alerts. And we also need to monitor the conversation whereby uh, uh, more advanced uh, emergency operations and security officers are using social media not to just as a way of broadcasting, but also as a, a, a means of uh, providing information. So you look at integrating uh, data sources for situational awareness and collaboration to respond with the responders. Uh, 
this one uh, can now match the uh, first responders, the police and fire government, of, uh, uh, government officials to tap into one single system and get information at a glance. So that's why we are trying to, at Hemel Solution Center, we are trying to uh, put together uh, health informatics and crisis informatics for better solutions. Thank you.